as some of you get a little stir crazy, we're also getting a little <laughs> stir crazy. Um, so we just wanted to share something with you. We got this book, Happy Birthday Maine, from a Maine author and a Maine illustrator. Lynn Ford wrote it, Mark Scott Ricketts design. So with that, Amanda and I are going to share the honors of reading this new children's book, Happy Birthday Maine, Filled with characters you will recognize. So I'm going to take the first half, she'll take the second half, and let the show begin. Page one. Shh! When you're planning a surprise birthday party, you have to be sneaky. Stomp, stomp, clomp, clomp. Stomp, 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 clomp, clomp, clomp. Unless you're Paul Bunyan, unless you're Moose. Then it's not easy to tiptoe away to plan a secret party. I'll give you a hint, they're talking about Maine's 200th birthday party. As Paul Bunyan and Moose reached a clearing deep in the woods, they heard, who, who, great question, said Moose. Who will we invite to the party? All 1.3 million residents, of course, said Paul Bunyan, who knows his state demographics. <laughs> Just adding that. Plus, any people from away who want to come, too. But how can we possibly send out that many invitations, asked hmm. the Moose of Paul. A sky chock full of chickadees replied, chickadee dee dee, wee wee wee. That's a big job for such wee creatures. Moose looked skeptical. Paul Bunyan shrugged. Chickadees are the state bird. It's the least they can do. Oh, 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 stand by, stand by. And they did. You're invited to a birthday party for Maine. Uh, information about Maine statehood, 200 yes. years old, potluck. Beautiful so invitation for the children. Yeah, we can sort of go over that quickly. Yes. Are you RSVPing? It's so always polite to RSVP when asked. As soon as the invitations arrived, RSVPs started pouring in. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good too. It's going to be the biggest party Maney's ever seen, bragged Paul Bunyan, even bigger than me. Yikes, said the moose. We'd better get ready, said moose. Clomp, clomp, stomp, stomp. Get ready they did. They decorated the whole state in a festive fashion, including every single pine tree, except the ones that were still decorated from Christmas. We know you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Take down your Christmas lights. <laughs> they prepared and practiced for competitions and games, including potato sack races, snow sculpting contests, and antler ring toss, of Ooh. course. Ooh, recognize some of these guys? They created costumes for those who wanted to dress up as famous Mainers. You know these people? Everyone else would just put on their favorite plaids and boots. Who doesn't have plaids and boots at home? We are entering mud season. Gotta have them. They've brought party favors. Whoopee, moxie, at last it was the big day. Surprisingly, there was no stomping, no clomping. Paul Bunyan and Moose were nowhere in sight, but they didn't stop everyone else. That didn't stop everyone else. No one wanted to miss the party of the century, or the party of two centuries. It was time to get this party started. Party hats for everyone. Moose would look wicked cute in that hat. Now here's where we make the big transition. We're not going to do a wipe or anything clever because our budget is too small for it that. It is. It's very small. We're already making our photographer Devin do way too much work here, but I'll wipe my fingers off of that. We're simply going to do proper sanitary <clears throat> precautions. And then I will take on the role of Vanna, and Amanda is your new reader. A Guinness record-setting blueberry pie eating contest. Imagine how many pies Paul Bunyan could eat. I bet a lot. Toboggan sled races from the top of Katahdin all the way down to Portland Headlight dump truck loads of mashed potatoes filled in melty, muddy, grassy spots along the way. Moose and Paul Bunyan would have won this for sure. Everyone enjoyed the giant potluck buffet set up along Route 1, including baked beans, clam chowder, and how do we say that, Rob? Uh, looking up so Tier pie? To tier, we believe. Oh my. Not certain, but we believe. My French Canadian heritage is not helping Your me. French Canadian <laughs> relatives would be very disappointed in you. Too bad Moose and Paul Bunyan aren't here to chow down. They worked so hard on the party. This, by the way, was illustrator Mark's favorite page. From the New Hampshire border to Matinicus Island, from Kittery to the county, from the biggest city to the smallest town and everywhere in between, everyone celebrated the way life should be. Everyone celebrated, that is, except Moose and Paul Bunyan. Maine's party. Chickadee dee dee. Where could they be, be, be? Nice job on the bird calls, Amanda. <laughs> You're also skipped it. to the Canadian. 
But there was no time for wondering. A giant logging truck rumbled to a stop. Partiers surrounded it and oohed and awed at the world's biggest birthday cake. Just as everyone was ready to dive in, the cake top flew off. Happy birthday, Maine! Chickadee dee dee tee hee hee. I jumped out of my cake. And there it is. That was, oh, that was, we the didn't big quite realize finish. that was the big ending. At this point, we have Maine uh, geography, Maine people, Maine numbers. Uh, I totally got into this stuff, actually, because yeah. I'm a geek in most ways. So, anyway, that ends our reading of Happy Birthday, Maine. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging with us.